Okay, so here we go. This is my entire Blu-ray collection video series. Um, this is part one. Like I said, there's going to be three uh, parts, Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Um, so I'm breaking the norm of the two a week, um, which I will do from time to time, mainly because I couldn't split the uh, collection video into two videos because there are like three distinct Blu-ray areas in my room. Um, now, why split it into three and not do it in one? If I did this as one video, it would be about an hour and a half, two hours, because there is so many Blu-rays to get through. And what I'll do is, like I've been doing with the um, videos where I would do the amount uh, at the end, um, of, of a whole video, like how much I spend on everything. I'm going to do a similar thing with the Blu-rays, except it, rather than it being how much they cost in total, it's going to be how many there are per section. Steelbooks, I might um, give a value as well, because there are some high value ones in there. But I'll, I'll see. Um, it is quite hard to va put value on everything because then I have to fact check it all and make sure it's still what I think it is. Um, I am also in the process of cataloguing all my Blu-rays. Um, I've got a new app um, that I'm paying yearly for, which lets me uh, catalogue all my Blu-rays um, for like forever, for as long as I like. Um, I have done all of the section that we're going to look at today. Uh, I've almost finished cataloguing the steelbooks and I've got quite a lot of work to do with the regular Blu-rays. So let's get straight to it with the two uh, wall cabinets over here. So just before we uh, break down what this section consists of, I just want to say, um, do me a favour, hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell icon to get notified of all future Chris Collects videos. So this section um, has like very specific uh, sets of Blu-rays. So at the top we have Doctor Who. Um, we have some classic Doctor Who, some modern Doctor Who, um, and Torchwood. Um, then we have music, then the Emma Stone section. So, something to know about me in advance is I'm a massive Emma Stone fan. And I've got almost every single Emma Stone film on Blu-ray. And, you know, I count things where she has a three-minute cameo as an Emma Stone film so there's quite a few in there um there's some that i haven't even seen either uh so you know i'll probably watch them at some point um then we have dc animated uh and then oh then we have uh so uh, actually so dc animators down there then we have disney uh then arrow video then some of the MCU Blu-rays that are non-phase slipcovers, so they're, I, I call them MCU miscellaneous. Um, and then we also have miscellaneous Blu-rays at the back there. The Scooby-Doo DVDs are in there as well for now because I just don't know where to put them. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of Blu-rays in there that I just haven't got enough of that type of thing to properly categorise a section for them. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm basically going to pull out uh, a section at a time um, and then I will run you through it. But I wanted to give you a quick look at this shelving display. So what these are, they are two like Ikea kind of bookshelf long, long cabinet things. Um, and then I've customised it with shelves in the middle. So there's the Doctor Who Lego Ideas set up there. What I'll do actually is 
if I just go into handheld mode, I just need to unclip the camera. So now we're in handheld mode, I can show you properly each bit. So the bits that I've got Lego in are essentially they're, they're too small for Blu-rays just because of the way that these shelving units work. Um, so I've got my Quantum Realm Avengers there, and I've got my MCU minifigures there. I've got the Lego Ideas Doctor Who set in the middle. Um, the Y wings at top, X wings there. Doctor Who section, uh, music, Emma Stone. Then there are Lego Batman movie minifigures there. Um, an empty space that I need to fill with something. Um, again, that's. It's too small for Blu-rays, that's why it's empty at the moment. I don't know what's going to go there. Um, DC Animated, Disney, Arrow Video, and then, I guess, Miscellaneous slash MCU Miscellaneous. Um, so, yeah, so without showing it too much, because obviously I want to do the reveal of what is in the collection as we go along. Um, yeah, that is how it's looking. There is also, the, the reason there's a gap here is because I've got the Doctor Who uh, Blu-ray on the way. So I've left that gap deliberately so I can fit it in. Um, and there's a gap down there for some more DC animated Blu-rays that I've got coming as well. So, let's get into it. Oh, so, we're going to be starting with um, the Doctor Who section. So... I do just want to clarify, I have all of modern Doctor Who in some media format. So I only have some of them on Blu-ray, but I do have um, the ones that I'm missing on DVD. Um, I, I just need to get them on Blu-ray so that I've got all of them on Blu-ray. Um, and I am missing some of the Doctor Who the Collection box sets. And they are getting really hard to buy now. Um, so I'm... That's something I'm just, as a collector, working on. But I don't want to pay really ridiculous prices for anything. So, starting out, you will have seen these recently. Um, we've got Doctor Who the Faceless Ones. Um, and we've got Doctor Who Fury from the Deep. I still haven't seen these. Uh, I'll get around to it eventually. Um... Something you will hear me say a lot is, I haven't seen this. Um, I have so many Blu-rays that I haven't seen. It's ridiculous. I shouldn't own that many Blu-rays that I haven't seen, but I do. Um, Doctor Who Spearhead from Space. I have seen this story. Love this story. I am big, big John Pertwee fan. This was actually the first classic Blu-ray release. It was like a really, really big deal. Um, it had a reversible cover, much like the uh, newer ones so this was the cover it had when I bought it I remember getting this actually I got this when I was on holiday in Jersey um, and I got this from a HMV that same trip I've ended up buying like a ton of um a ton of blu-rays uh, from a blockbuster anyone remember blockbuster uh, and I bought loads of Blu-rays from Blockbuster. And I remember back in the day, because I've, I've had several channels over the years. And I used to do Blu-ray updates, Blu-ray collection videos all the time. And every time I go to do something Blu-ray related like this, I always try to find a newer way to do it. My way to do it this time is split the collection videos into three parts. So I will every now and again give you a little bit of story like this. But... Uh, I'm going to try not to do that with everything because we will be here forever. But Spearhead from Space, great story. Uh, Doctor Who, the movie. So this is the Paul McGann TV movie. Um, same deal as Spearhead from Space. It has a reversible cover. Um, I, I much prefer the like DVD uh, cover style, which is why I, I have them in that, um, in that format. Um, and I'm considering taking the slip covers off of Fury from the Deep and the Faceless Ones just to keep that style going in those uh, cases. Then we have Doctor Who The Collection Season 12. I didn't actually get this on the initial release. I got this on the re-release, which, um, 
which was nice. Uh, I'm, I'm glad they re-released it. I was hoping they would do that with more, but they haven't done yet. Uh, these are really nice box sets, really nicely presented, um, which is why I want to have them all. You know, it's just got a very nice presentation in these box sets. Um, the ones that I don't have, I am trying to get uh, pre-owned because I don't want them sealed because it'll make it difficult for me to open them. The ones that are, like are coming out that are new, even though they've sold out and they're already going to skyrocket in price. I open anyway because I'm at some point going to watch all of these on Blu-ray um, because I love Doctor Who. It's, it's like Doctor Who is what got me into collecting. It's my favourite show of all time. Um, Doctor Who season 14 and the last one that I have is Doctor Who season 19. This was actually the first one I got um, and yeah uh, I'm missing quite a few of these. Uh, and I do want to get them all, like I said, because they're really nice box sets. Um, Doctor Who, the specials on Blu-ray, I have this on DVD as well. The DVD box set's nicer, there's more artwork. Uh, Doctor Who, the complete fifth series, I have this on uh, DVD as well. I have the Steelbook limited edition DVD thing. Um, then Doctor Who, the complete sixth series, this is the limited edition... Uh, silence case. This case is really annoying. I sort of wish I just had the regular uh, box set because firstly it bends the plastic slip cover um, and secondly whenever you put it on the shelf if you can't have anything to go like directly up against it it's it's just a pain that one. Um, Doctor Who the complete seventh series so ser from series six is when I stopped getting them on DVD and only on Blu-ray because I had a, a Blu-ray player then. Um, Doctor Who, The Day of the Doctor. I have this in a few formats. I did, I think I still have it on DVD as well because I think I kept the DVD because the DVD's got like inside artwork and the Blu-ray doesn't. This is actually though the Blu-ray 3D which uh, is weirdly quite hard to get. So, it, it's not worth much, but it's just quite hard to, to track down. Um, Doctor Who, The Time of the Doctor, so this is Matt Smith's last uh, story. It also has other 11th Doctor Christmas specials, so it has all of them. Uh, a Christmas Carol, Doctor Wither and the Wardrobe of the Snowmen, and The Time of the Doctor. Uh, out of those, A Christmas Carol, in my opinion, is the best one. But I got that. And then I have, of course, the... Doctor Who 50th Anniversary uh, Collector's Edition box set, which does include uh, the name of the Doctor, the day of the Doctor, the time of the Doctor, as well as uh, an adventure in space and time, um, and all the like mini episodes. Uh, so the night of the Doctor, the last day, um, a night with the stars, the science of Doctor Who, that special uh, Doctor uh, BBC Proms. 2013, deleted scenes, Tales from the Tardis, The Five-ish Doctors reboot, blah, blah, blah. So, a lot of stuff. This set is also numbered. I've never known if there was, like, a set number of them. Um, Doctor Who, the complete eighth series uh, on Blu-ray. This is the limited edition. It used to make Tardis noises. It doesn't anymore because it's very old. Um, now, I just want to preference here and say... I don't have Series 9 and Series 10 on regular Blu-rays. I have them on Steelbooks, and those Steelbooks are open because I didn't get them brand new. I got them from CEX, um, which is why I don't have them on regular Blu-ray yet. But I am planning to get them on regular Blu-ray, and I've got a feeling they're going to redo um, Series 9, Series 10, Series 11, and Series 12 Blu-ray Steelbooks, even though they've already done them, um, just because... There seems to be like a pattern emerging with those steelbooks. So I'll be getting them again on steelbooks uh, when they do that. Um, Doctor Who Twice Upon a Time. I discovered recently that this has a 4K Blu-ray. I had no idea. And part of me wants to get it purely because it's like the only 4K Doctor Who release. It's so bizarre. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, uh, Peter Capaldi's 
last story. I don't have the current special. Um, I will get that at some point. I really like that special as well, so I, I, I'll pick it up eventually. Uh, Doctor Who the Time Lord Victorious, Road to the Dark Time. So this is just a collection of stories that's supposed to tie into the Time Lord Victorious multimedia event they've got going on at the moment. Doctor Who the Complete 12th series. This is because I got the steelbook unopened. This is really nice. I don't know why they never did this sort of thing with the other Blu-ray sets. But like, like this is like a digipack box set. I love box sets like this. Um, this does include uh, the uh, 2020 special, I think it is, uh, resolution. So I won't be getting that individual Blu-ray release. Um, I know that Series 13 will probably include Revolution of the Daleks. But I will just get the Blu-ray for that. Uh, anyway. Torchwood Series 1 to 3. Nice little box set that has uh, some of the best Torchwood episodes in it. Um, and then Torchwood Miracle Day. Not terrible, but not the best series of Torchwood. So that's the Doctor Who section. Let's take a look at my, uh, I believe it's music, then Emma Stone. I might do music and Emma Stone together actually because music is quite a small section. So let's get those Blu-rays out. Right, so the music Blu-ray selection. So this is mostly compiling of like live uh, music Blu-rays. Uh, and anything that I think is like bio, that I deem is biographical or anything that I just think works better in this section. Um, so kickstarting us off with A Star Is Born. This was my favourite movie of 2018. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly, highly recommend it. Bradley Cooper's directorial debut and it, he, phenomenal director, phenomenal actor. Lady Gaga as well, absolutely breathtaking in this movie, so I highly recommend that. Bohemian Rhapsody, I have seen this, but I haven't opened it. Uh, that's something else um, you'll see a lot of is, if I haven't watched it, I may have seen it, but I haven't watched it since buying it on Blu-ray, so it'll, it'll be sealed. I tend to only open Blu-rays when I go to watch them. Um, but Bohemian Rhapsody, that's a really, really good uh, biopic of Queen and Freddie Mercury. Uh, Foo Fighters back and forth, this is a great documentary on uh, Foo Fighters when they were making Wasting Light. Hans Zimmer, Live in Prague. This is actually a European release because it's got the European sticker on it. Um, great, great uh, live concert. Uh, Kasabian, Live at the O2 2011. I haven't actually watched this, but I got this for like four quid in CEX and when I looked it up, it goes for a lot more than that, so I was like, I should probably get that, because that seems like it's worth it. Um, it does also have the CD as well. Uh, Michael Bublé, Caught in the Act. This isn't mine, this is my mum's. Um, but because I'm the one with the Blu-ray collection, it's somehow ended up in my, in my possession. Um, Sound City. This is a great uh, documentary directed by Dave Grohl um, and yeah recommend this for any fan of music um, Rocket Man great film uh, I haven't got around to re-watching it yet and Roger Waters The Wall also really 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 great uh, documentary by Roger Waters obviously of Pink Floyd um, so the reason I've got quite a big sort of music collection of uh, films primarily comes down to the fact that I am myself a musician and I'm training to be a music teacher so I do just love uh, watching some music documentaries and some live performances here and there especially at the moment when you can't go and, and see any live shows so the Emma Stone collection so I'm only missing one film and that film is The Rocker everything else here is what falls into my category of Emma Stone is in the film long enough for it to uh, earn a place in the collection. This never actually, uh, it, interestingly, this never stemmed uh, from anything really. Uh, I sort of, you know, 
grew an appreciation for Emma Stone as an actress. Um, but I had some, I've had some of these films in my collection for, for years, since I, the early days of me collecting Blu-rays. Um, so it made it easier to kind of formulate an Emma Stone collection. Um, but let's kick start with her first movie, Super Bad. Uh, great teen comedy. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Really funny. The House Bunny. Um, it's a good late night comedy. Um, yeah, uh, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's not terrible. Uh, Go to Girlfriend's Past. I think this is a little bit underrated. I find this quite good. Um, but then, again, it might just be because I like Emma Stone. Who knows? Um, Paper Man. This is also called uh, Unlikely Hero in some territories. But this, I believe, is the German release. Um, so there will be a few uh, imports because I uh, basically had to import them to get them into the collection. So this has never had a Blu-ray release in the UK. Um, Zombieland and Zombieland Double Tap. Absolutely love these movies. Um, so I have put them mostly in chronological order of release except for sequels. Um, and this is an example of that. So obviously Zombieland came out in 2008 and Zombieland Double Tap came out in... No, this was 2009, this was 2019, and they were 10 years apart. Good stuff. Uh, Marmaduke. I have never seen this movie. Didn't even know Emma Stone was in it until uh, I was creating this collection. I believe she's a voice in this, so, I mean, you could argue that she's technically not in it. But uh, her voice is in large portions of the movie, so it, it counts. Um... Easy A. This is an absolutely exceptional movie. This is a great coming of age film. Um, I think this is the film really that put Emma Stone on the map as an actress. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on Netflix in the UK at the moment. Um, I highly, highly recommend Easy A. Uh, Friends with Benefits. I think she's in this for like three minutes <laughs> at the start. I think she is just in Timberlake's date and then. And then um, she dumps him, I think. Uh, I didn't know she was in this, uh, but I paid like 50p for it. So, yeah. Um, Crazy Stupid Love. This is another really, really good movie. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. You know, you've got Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Julianne Moore, Emma Stone, Marissa Tomei, Kevin Bacon. Absolutely stellar cast. Great movie. Uh, the Help. This is a great movie. I haven't watched it since buying it on Blu-ray and I've had... Yeah, it's on Blu-ray for ages, but this is a very, very good movie if you haven't seen it. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man, yeah, not terrible. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is terrible. Um, movie 43 is also terrible. Gangster Squad, I love this movie. I don't think this movie gets enough love. Uh, this, I really, really love Gangster Squad. Um... And I think everyone should watch it. Good cast as well, actually. Josh Brolin, Ryan Gosling, Nick Nolte, Emma Stone, and Sean Penn. So, yeah. Uh, the Crudes, I haven't seen this, and I know there's a sequel coming out, so I probably will watch this in the near future. Uh, Magic in the Moonlight. This is a pretty nice film, actually, directed by uh, Woody Allen, uh, Colin Firth, Emma Stone. It's a nice little film. Uh, Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. This is a great, great movie. Definitely should give that one a go. Um, Irrational Man. I haven't actually seen this movie. This is a Woody Allen one as well. Um, yeah, I haven't seen this movie, and I, I should. Because Joaquin Phoenix and Emma Stone, to me, seems like a really good uh, pairing. So, yeah, I, I will watch that one soon. Um, Aloha, uh, oh, that one's uh, an Italian release, by the way, and this one is a German release, I think. Um, Aloha, I like this movie. Um, it's probably not the greatest movie in the world, but I like it. Uh, 
La La Land. I absolutely love this movie. This was my favourite movie of 2017, I think. Battle of the Sexes. This is a German release, I believe. Um, this is a really good movie, actually. You should definitely check this one out. And The Favourite. This is a really good movie. Uh, a bit weird, um, but good. So I would recommend that as well. So that's the music and the Emma Stone collection. Let's move on to DC Animated. Okay, so I've also thrown a few extra ones in here that are not technically DC animated movies, but they're animated Warner Brothers movies that I wanted to put next to the DC animated collection. And you'll see what those are when we get to it. Um, so starting off, uh, the, the beginning of my DC animated collection starts off with Batman and we have the Batman 5 film uh, collection and in this I have uh, Mystery of the Batwoman, Batman Bad Blood, Batman Under the Red Hood, Batman Gotham Night in Batman Year One. Um, I have actually got Batman Bad Blood like the singular release on the way um, and I probably shouldn't have ordered it. However, I do want to have all like the individual releases as well. I haven't seen Batman Bad Blood actually. I've seen Mystery of the Batwoman. That's a good one. Batman Under the Red Hood is still probably my favourite. Batman Gotham Knight I've also got individually here. And Batman Year One is great as well. I do have the DVD version of this. Which replaces Batman Bad Blood with Mask of the Phantasm. That is still yet to get a Blu-ray release over here. For whatever reason. Um, but yeah, there's the Batman 5 film animated collection. And like I said, Gotham Knight. That's pretty good. It's like a um, uh, prequel slash sequel-ish. I think it's a prequel to Batman Begins. I think it's meant to be, like, sort of. Um, Batman Assault on Arkham. This is really, really good. And I believe it's also supposed to be connected to the Arkham game universe uh batman and harley quinn really fun it's set in the um batman the animated series universe uh batman the killing joke the actual killing joke part of this movie is really good the stuff they added is weird um batman hush this is a really good one batman death in the family the first ever interactive uh, one. And this is alright. It's alright. It takes uh, footage from Batman Under the Red Hood and mixes it with some new footage as well to create different endings and scenarios. Um, it's alright. Uh, I mean, it, it's called DC Showcase Animated Shorts because they are shorts, essentially. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh, Batman vs. Robin, I got this one recently. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, the Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Both great, great uh, films and quite faithful to the comics as well that they are based on. Uh, Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have not seen this one yet. Uh, but I really want to watch it, so I don't know why I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Batman Soul of the Dragon. haven't watched that one yet either. Batman Return of the Caped Crusaders. Saw this one in cinema. Um, and also actually I went to see it with a few friends. And uh, they did in the cinema like a competition, like a raffle. And one of my friends actually won the DVD box set of the complete TV series. And he gave it to me, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah. So there's Batman. Then we have Superman. And we have... Uh, the five film animated Blu-ray collection of Superman, which I haven't opened yet. Uh, and it's got Superman Unbound, which I haven't seen. Superman Doomsday, which I also haven't seen. Uh, Superman vs. Elite, which I haven't seen. Superman Batman Apocalypse, which I haven't seen. <laughs> um, Superman Batman Public Enemies, which I have seen. And that one's pretty good. Um, then again, I've got Superman Unbound. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, Superman Man of Tomorrow, haven't seen it yet. Superman Red Sun, this is really awesome. You should check this one out if you're a DC fan. Um, it's a cool little Elseworlds story. Reign of the Superman, haven't seen it yet. 
Uh, Wonder Woman Bloodlines. Haven't seen it yet, so this is the Wonder Woman section. Then we move on to Justice League. And we have Justice League Flashpoint Paradox. I absolutely love this film. And I really hope they don't bugger it up uh, with the Flash movie. But we'll see. The jury is out. Justice League vs. Teen Titans. I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, Justice League Dark. This is a great film as well. Uh, I, I, w I would love a live action Justice League Dark movie actually. Um, and Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. I haven't seen this one yet. But I'm very keen to check it out actually. And then we got Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. haven't seen that one yet. And then the additional animated films. We have the Lego Batman movie, great film. Uh, the Lego movie, great film. And the Lego movie 2, the second part. Alright, film. So that's the DC slash Lego movie animated collection. Now it's time for Disney. Okay, so here we have Disney. So this includes Disney animated classics, Disney live action, and Disney Pixar. So starting out with the very first Disney animated film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Then we have the Platinum Edition of Pinocchio. That's the Diamond Edition as well, by the way, of Snow White. Um, the Special Edition of Fantasia. The US imported Cinderella Digibook. Diamond Edition, really like that actually. Um, Bambi, Diamond Edition. Lady and the Tramp, Diamond Edition, Beauty and the Beast, Diamond Edition, uh, The Lion King, Diamond Edition, and Special Edition, Fantasia 2000. I do try to get most of the Disney animated classics with slip covers, because I really like the slip covers on those, um, and they are quite collectible as well. Uh, then we've got some live action, we've got some Beauty and the Beast, the pretty solid one that one. Uh, Mary Poppins, the 50th Anniversary Edition. Um, I really like this little collection, actually. This was a Muppets box set. And it includes uh, the newer Muppets film. Uh, the Muppets... The newer Muppets film. The Muppets movie, as well. Um, uh, Muppets Most Wanted. And then the Great Muppet Caper. Muppet Treasure Island and the greatest Christmas movie ever made, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh, then we've got Muppets from Space, uh, Alice in Wonderland. I picked this up many, many years ago purely because of this insane like box set thing that it comes in. Like, what? Wh why? Why did they? Why did they make this elaborate box set for this movie? Disney have always got had this thing with like really good presentation for their physical media. Uh, Ratatouille. So this is our Pixar now. Toy Story 1 Special Edition. Toy Story 2 Special Edition. Toy Story 3. That just says two disc Blu-ray uh, for some reason. Up. Wreck-It Ralph. So this isn't Pixar and should actually be a little bit higher up. Um, I don't know why it isn't. Um, but there we go, Wreck-It Ralph. I probably thought it was Pixar, for whatever reason. Cars, I love Cars. I think it gets a lot of flack, but I love Cars. Uh, Inside Out, great movie. And Monsters, Inc., also a very good movie. I mean, you can't go wrong with Disney. I love Disney. Even though I've got Disney+, Plus, I'm still very much into collecting Disney on Blu-ray as well. So, time for the final part of this uh part of the collection so it's now just the miscellaneous so let's get to it okay so here we go we've got the miscellaneous part of the collection so we got our arrow blu-rays first massacre gun never seen it but it was an arrow blu-ray and it was two quid so i thought why not robocop one of my favorite movies ever and i actually did reverse the cover this is the vhs cover and i did that because I remember having this view just as a kid. Spider-Man Homecoming, the regular slipcover release. Uh, for Ragnarok with the regular slipcover release. Um, then we have Captain America Civil War with 
I've got both both versions of these. These are the collectible Iron Man Captain America uh, slip covers. We've got both of those. Uh, we've got Avengers Assemble 3D with the slip cover. Avengers Age of Ultron 3D with the slip cover. Avengers Infinity War with a regular slip cover. Avengers Endgame with a regular slip cover. Um, this is four, but this is a uh, US release, so it's a thinner case. Um, it also has a cutout in the slip cover for the barcode. Um, I found this in the CEX for like 350, something like that. Uh, the regular release of Iron Man 2, it was a triple play back in the day. And I've also got a pirate DVD of Iron Man 1. Uh, no, Iron Man 3 rather. Um, interesting. Um, God, I remember big, I remember being a kid and the pirate DVDs getting passed around school. Uh, Apollo 11. Great, great documentary film. And Howl's Moving Castle. So that's going to do it for this part, part one. Um, hope you liked this video. And tune in on Wednesday for part two. This has been Chris Collects.